All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Citizen YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Well, of course, I mean, I know that everybody has a lot of festivities going on, you know what I mean? No matter what anybody is accused of or does in this world, straightway is the whole problem for it, which is fine and good. That's part and parcel of it. Um, sure would be nice if I could actually get out here and since so many people disagree with so many things about us, if we could ever, if, we, if I could just ever get somebody to have an open civil discussion, debate, conversation. It ain't going to happen, though. But nevertheless, how are everybody doing? I had somebody ask me, they said, Pastor Dow, do you celebrate the 4th of July? I said, no. Then they said, well, why? Aren't you a veteran? Yes. Aren't you, um, do you used to be an 82nd Airborne Division? Yes. Um. Why don't you celebrate 4th of July? Because that wasn't Independence Day for my people. My people were still in chains in slavery. And we didn't get no independence at all. Nothing. Uh, that That's the colonies, uh, the people that came over here and stole this land, independent uh, from the tyranny of the Britons. That's what 4th of July is about. Ain't none of my business. Ain't none. I mean, but I know true history, though. Um... Change the station for a second. I don't. We don't know anything new about the latest festivities that are going on with Pastor Muir um, and and the Indiana Police Department up there under the Department of Child Services. But I will say this: Do y'all do y'all you remember what I said yesterday about the news media? How that they submit certain information and they say things a certain way, and then all of them repeat the same story, kind of like they do on mainstream news media. You'll get one network say this, then a ne next one network, next one, and they all piggyback off each other. And if you, you notice, they found Bryson. That's what they said. They found him. They found him safe. <clears throat> but they didn't tell you that they found him safe at home. Because, see, that's, that doesn't do good for their narrative. And they don't want to ever paint anyone in a good light. And so then... Um, last night on last night broadcast, I had somebody tell me, man, I had a run in with these people. And I still haven't seen my children still to this day. You know, with situations like this, it, it's sad because uh, one day some of you are going to have the opportunity to deal with a particular situation like this where somebody is going to levy some type of false allegations and charges against you. And then here you are minding your own business. Next thing you know, you got the sheriff's department, you got uh, the power, child department services at your front door and you got to answer questions and allegations and stuff about what in the world is going on. I tell you, it's the world, but I'm, I'm wondering uh, what type of jurisdiction does family court have in this? But nevertheless, I, I want y'all to really, 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 really truly see that media is not your friend. They ain't never been your friend. They have no interest in truth. They are there to report news that is going to be slanderous, defamate, defamatory, uh, uh, things that are accusing, uh, and they're, they're, they're wordsmith. They meant to throw things out there in order to get your conscience and mind to go, hmm. Same thing with a liar or an accuser. They're there to present things to you to get you to look at things through their lenses. Can you imagine that people will continue to lie, falsify. Have anybody out there, has, has anybody out there ever had the Department of Child Services called on you? I would like to hear from y'all. I, I would like to know how y'all handled that case and how things went on. Um, but man, once it come to your door, now I wouldn't wish it that it wouldn't come to anybody's door. But once it come to your door, you're going to find out. You're going to find out. And I tell you, this thing has severed a lot of families over the years. Um, and everybody already know what I believe about natural family. That's why I stay away from them. I don't have nothing to do with them at all. Zero. And my life has been blessed because of it. Um, I don't mind uh, receiving persecution. I don't mind, um, you know, Satan has got people that are submitted to him and it is his will. So I don't mind people uh, lying. I don't mind people uh, accusing. I don't mind people slandering. Um, now, do I like it? Nah, I don't. Probably I just like not like the next, next person does. But I've got some pretty big damn shoulders. You know what I mean? I, I can pretty much hold the weight of, of all this because, you know, out of the 26 years that I've actually been here on this land, every single, when people are going to figure that out, that every allegation, every accusation, everything that I've been accused of 
it's literally all false. If I was as bad of a man that everybody's saying, I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm bad. I'm bad because I go against societal norms. I'm bad because I go against pagan Christianity. I'm bad because I preach the truth of holiness about what the book says, and people just don't like that. Go check my doctor. They just don't like it. Um, and, of course, and then I'm bad because they don't like my delivery. They don't like how I talk. Nevertheless, the message that I preach and I teach is not for the masses. Never has been for the masses. Only for a remnant of the people. People who are spiritually intelligent. That know how to pick up the book. Read and comprehend. Research and study. And then find it out. Because, I mean, think about this. We're celebrating a holiday today. And you got uh, American Negro Indians which they don't even want you to know about that truth either. I know I'm digressing a lot in this. I'm just showing y'all. Uh, they want y'all to make y'all think that all the Indians started out Caucasian here in this country. As a matter of fact, they want y'all to believe that about everything in the world, including Egypt. Uh, but what I'm getting to is, is that there are lies. There are illusion of lies. There are facts. And then there are opinions. And people are not entitled to facts. Opinions, yes. Uh, uh, facts, no. And so, people say a lot, they get butt hurt, man, they get offended, because I no longer am dealing with them. I know what I'm doing, I just turn the page, move on, and they are bitter. You know, the books, you know, there's an old saying out there in the world that says, hell is no, no fury like a woman scorn. Starting to watch these female tendencies in a lot of people, too. But as for me and my house, we got a lot to do, we, we're just busy here. We're just totally busy, we're going to continue to keep doing the will of God. Anything that changes... Uh, we'll let you know, but I want to let y'all know this. Think about this again. Did y'all hear what the attorney said on last night broadcast? I, I played it three times. Three times. Why ain't the news reporting that? See, because it's not in their best interest to report that. It's their best interest to get you, you know, what they try to do is they try to put pressure on people to get them to acquiesce, capitulate, uh, to get them to conform, to be co uh, under duress and under coercion, to get people to um, react rather than respond in a certain way. And they know that. They know human nature. That's why they're always big in psychology. But again, to set the record straight, Bryson, who was allegedly supposed to be missing, was found safe at his home. There in Logansport. Now, see, that's true reporting. See, that, that, if you listen to him, they're just going to leave that out. He's he's found safe. He's safe. That's about it. They're going to make you think that he's in some other geographical location, and then they went and got Pastor Muir and them over here. No, 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 no. That's called spin. That's called only putting certain things out there to lead your mind down a certain way. And that's it. They're, they're not going to be truthful. It sure is going to be nice, boy, when the king comes in. It sure is going to be nice. It's going to be a lot, a lot of death, hell, and carnage then. Sure is. When the real Jesus comes, it's going to be a lot of that. I know people say, yeah, 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 yeah. We've been talking about that for years. Yeah, yeah, but we're in the here and now. We are. And that's why I teach people you got to learn how to navigate here in the here and now. But I'm going to end this video by saying it again. See how dishonest the news media is? They could have told you that they found Bryson at home safely with his father, Daniel, and his mother, Kristen. They could have told you that, but they chose not to. And they still, till this day, does. Even the attorney asked the news media to kind of pause on your accusations and your assertions, and they're still doing it. That's, that's what they do. And so y'all got to figure this thing out. Listen, if you're a friend of the world, then the world would love you. But if you are a friend of this world, then you are an enemy of God. Read your book and see what it says. Y'all be encouraged, King Tommy.